Many places in Japan have their own unique Kyodo Ryori, or regional cuisine, version of ramen. Every prefecture brings their local culture to traditional dishes. IEK is one of the most popular types of regional ramen, invented in 1974 by Minoru Yoshimura in Yokohama. IEK ramen is so popular that it surpassed being local cuisine to become beloved by many people across Japan. Welcome to this episode of Ramen Regions. The capital city of Kanagawa, Yokohama, is Japan's second largest city after Tokyo. Located less than half an hour south of Tokyo by train, Yokohama's port opened to Western trade in 1859, and it's welcomed Western ideals with open arms ever since. With expats from all over, Yokohama's unique culture is a melting pot of different cultures and cuisines. It's also the location of Japan's largest Chinatown. With such a vibrant history, it's no wonder that their local ramen would become so popular. If you're a person who is more about the broth than the noodles, IEK is all about the broth. It blends rich tonkotsu broth with classic shoyu broth. Traditionally, pork and chicken bones are cooked together, and the resulting rich and flavorful broth is seasoned with soy sauce. Modern IEK, however, makes two separate broths and blends them together before serving. This process allows both individual flavors to shine. Because of the full-bodied flavor of the broth, customers often order a side of rice to eat alongside their ramen. Now, some shops even offer the rice for free. This doesn't replace noodles, though. IEK ramen is served with noodles that are flatter than the typical ramen noodle and cut shorter. A big draw of IEK ramen is that it's highly customizable, so customers can request soft, regular, or al dente noodles. The shape of these noodles means they don't soak up much water, making them perfect for the flavorful broth. Since IEK ramen is so customizable, it's no surprise that there's a wide variety of toppings too. Shops usually serve IEK ramen with spinach, nori, and some chashu. Then they encourage customers to add anything they'd like from the variety of additional toppings available at the table. Every shop has a recommended way of preparing their ramen, but customers also have their own favorites. For our version of IEK ramen, we used Sapporo Ichiban's tonkotsu flavor with a little soy sauce added in. For our toppings, we went with spinach, grated garlic, soft-boiled egg, two to three slices of chashu pork, and a sheet of nori. If you want, a sprinkling of black pepper can add a little extra flavor to your bowl. This is just one way to prepare your IEK ramen, though. The beauty of IEK ramen is tailoring it to your own tastes. You could have different toppings on your IEK ramen every day for a month. Itadakimasu.